some adventures, size does matter. That's why Boat created its largest inflatable paddleboard yet, the Rackham Arrow. Capable of ferrying massive amounts of gear on even the most daunting waterways, the Rackham Arrow is the ultimate airship that easily gets you and everything you need wherever you want to go. With two-chamber, military-grade PVC construction, the Rackham Arrow can endure rougher terrain than any other inflatable on the market, while still maintaining boats unparalleled performance. The Rackham Arrow is maxed out with our latest innovations, including a detachable paddle sheath to free up your hands and our sand spear sheath that allows you to anchor in shallow water. Or mount a power pole micro to the integrated mounting point and wirelessly engage a sand spear shallow water anchor to hold your Rackham Arrow in place. The sand spear and paddle can be conveniently stored on the deck of the board using the available latch bolts. Molly chains, cooler tie downs, front and rear bungee straps, and dual rack receivers allow for multiple gear configurations, so you'll always have everything you need right at your fingertips. This Titan comes with its own rolling travel bag, fiberglass paddle, center fin, and a pump in one convenient package. The Rackham Arrow is a serious watercraft with uncompromising versatility, making it the perfect vehicle for your next big adventure. This is the Touring 126x30, built in the same single chamber construction, and I'm gonna give you a quick walk through the board. This board is one of our top two best-selling boards of all times, and has been built with the core essentials of the Sen line. It has the welded rail technology all around the outline of the board, on the deck and the bottom. It is also reinforced with our 2000D extra reinforced rail bands, and it has been built with our single layer linear knitted drop stitch. Because this board is an explorer's choice, we have to equip it with bungees in the back and the front to store your gear, as well as a GPS mount on the nose of the board, so you can have a track of your expedition or a camera recording your expedition. In the back of the board, there is a handle that will allow you to lift the fin off the water and drag it around, as well as a kick pad if you actually need to step back to turn your board, and you have the possibility to attach a shoulder carry strap to these two D-rings. As all the other Sen single chamber boards, the Touring comes equipped with this board bag, a pump, a fin, a leash, and optionally, a paddle. Towards the back of the board, behind the fin box, you will find our edge release technology, which enables a better release of the water behind the board, giving you a much smoother glide sensation on your expeditions. Those who choose the path less traveled demand gear that can keep up, no matter what the conditions. That's why we created the HD Arrow, the most versatile inflatable paddleboard on the market. Capable of tackling the toughest waterways, the HD Arrow is virtually indestructible due to its tough as nails construction. The HD Arrow packs a robust feature set never before seen on an inflatable boat. Outfitted with front and rear bungees, cooler tie downs, and rack compatible mounting points, the HD Arrow will get you and your gear where you want to be. Heat sealed, multi textured deck pads keep your feet comfortably in place while preventing added weight due to water absorption. Multiple grab handles and travel link latch points make the HD Arrow easy to grab from any angle. The paddle sheath is a convenient place to quickly stow your paddle to free up your hands for other activities. With multiple configurations to choose from, fishermen and adventurers prefer models with Molly latch points and a mountable stakeout hole while yogis and dog lovers prefer models with a full-length deck pad and paddle strap. Fully inflated, HD Aero stands at 11 feet 6 inches and sports a hefty capacity with superior stability and will accommodate a full range of paddlers, gear, and skill levels. At the end of the day, HD Aero can be deflated and stowed in tight spaces or even checked as baggage on your next flight. The HD Aero comes with everything you need to get your adventure on. Uncompromised design brings together the best features boat has to offer into a virtually indestructible, portable watercraft of no equal. The 11.6 Switch is an ultralight, super stable, incredibly versatile, inflatable paddleboard kayak combo, and it comes as a complete package with just about everything you need to hit the water in style. 
With a hull that weighs just 19 pounds, it is the lightest weight hybrid kayak paddleboard on the market, and it can be equipped for one person or two person use. A full coverage nose to tail, soft and grippy traction pad opens up the entire deck for yoga, pets, kids, and just lounging around. The Switch features two new exclusive aisle innovations. The first is our AirTech Fusion Light inflatable technology. This ultra lightweight and durable drop stitch construction is 25% lighter than standard inflatable boards on the market. Our proprietary patent pending aisle link connection system features soft yet rugged PE webbing loops that discreetly run the length of both rails and allow you to install accessories exactly where and only when you want them. So the two key accessories that turn the switch into the ultimate sit on top kayak are our aisle link kayak seat and kayak foot brace. The fiberglass reinforced 18 inch high back seat provides unrivaled support while a four inch inflatable seat cushion with EVA foam padding raises the paddler's hips to take pressure off the hamstrings and lower back while paddling. The seat is quick and easy to install, adjust and remove thanks to the aisle link system. The Isle Link ergonomic foot brace is perfect for bracing your feet, and this is key for engaging your core muscles for maximum efficiency while you're paddling. This complete package includes our 9 inch removable True Glide Flex Fin with tool free installation. A hybrid four piece adjustable paddle effortlessly converts between paddleboard and kayak use. Our super slim two way high capacity pump with gauge stores away easily. And with dual modes, it gets you inflated and on the water in minutes. The package also includes our eight foot coil leash for safety, a repair kit, and a dry bag to store all of your small items, both on and off the water. The Switch comes with a premium backpack that features rugged 600D fabric, padded back straps, marine grade YKK zippers, a full inner liner with paddle storage compartments, and a large external zippered pocket for storing accessories. So there you have it, the 11.6 Switch. Ultra light, super stable, incredibly versatile. Patented, razor sharp, weight piercing design of the needle nose bow combined with a straight line hull and asymmetrical shape is what truly sets it apart from the rest. The needle nose bow mold is made from rigid ABS plastic and no other inflatable stand up paddleboard has this patented mold. It cuts through the waves, wind, current, and water, tracking straight and true minimizing the need to switch sides during paddling strokes, increasing your speed and efficiency. Sups with a nose rocker or upturned nose or bow tend to yaw from side to side while pushing against the waves, wind, current, and water. The needle nose also has a straight line hull in asymmetrical shape. It glides through the water with ease. The patented needle nose design allows you to shift from what I call first, second, and third gear. First gear is located here. This is the center of the board from front to back and side to side. It's the most stable position and great for beginners who want to start off nice and easy. Notice the speed as well as how the board rides on the water. With the nose slightly released in this position, the board turns quite easily. Second gear is located here. This lowers the front of the board and reduces drag while increasing the planing surface area of the board. A great position for those who wish to go faster. Notice the increased speed as well as how the nose begins to slice through the water. Third gear is located here. This fully engages the needle nose from front to back, optimizing maximum speed and performance. Now here, you can see I'm really cranking away. Why? Because the full effect of the wave piercing needle nose design is being optimized. Notice how the nose remains engaged the whole time slicing through the water with the full waterline length of the board being utilized, reducing drag and enabling a much greater maximum speed. You'll want to keep the waterline halfway up the needle nose during third gear. This is also the most narrow portion of the board, and forward paddle strokes are most efficient here, propelling you the fastest. The needle nose can be paddled from sitting. It can also be paddled from kneeling. And it can also be used as a true fishing sub with the optional swivel seat fishing rig. You can get the needle nose in three sizes, 11 and a half, 12 and a half, and 14 feet long. It's lighter, not just the board, but also the backpacks. You can get to and from your destinations. 
And it's also a great addition if you need a more compact board for your adventures when you're traveling, if you're going by plane, boat, whichever destination. For me, my two personal favorites, it's smaller, it's more compact, so I can get a lot more of these boards in the car, whether I'm going with my family or a bunch of buddies. And secondly, it comes with that electric pump. So as the boards are being pumped up, I can still talk, conversate, get my son's life jacket on, and be in the moment with my friends as opposed to manually pumping up a board. A common question that we get is how do I match a board to the rider? Just a general rule of thumb, keep safe rule, is the taller the rider, the longer the board. The shorter the rider, the shorter the board. Also, the wider the board is, the more stability you're going to get. So if you're a beginner or new to paddle boarding or kayaking, go with a wider board. However, if the board's wider, it's gonna be a little bit slower in the water, which isn't a bad thing. But if you're a little more experienced and a little more aggressive in your paddling style, you can go with a narrower board. Now, if you're planning on riding with a second rider, whether it be your child or a pup or another animal, you might want to get a longer board or a little bit wider board to give you that stability, as well as to give that rider a little bit more room to wiggle around. Another thing to note is if you're riding with a friend that's on another board, make sure those two boards are compatible. You wouldn't want your friend to be on a wider, slower board and you're on a narrow, fast board and they're trying to keep up with you the whole time. Try to match those boards so that you're gonna be evenly paced and you're riding together enjoying that scenery at the same time. For any more tips, tricks, and advice, always refer to our website or our YouTube channel. There's plenty of tutorial videos and explanations on there that will get you comfortable with any board that you choose. For those of you out there that are in the consideration phase, just know that not all boards are created equally. iRocker's been around since 2013. We've put each of our models, years, makes to the test. We've been in every environment that you can think of, and we've invested in the technology and product development over the years to make this a solid board that will last a long time for you. We're here today, we're gonna be here tomorrow, and you're making a solid investment in iRocker for the long-term future. We've also localized our customer experience team and have an incredible website that can help answer any questions you have, not just about our boards, but the paddle boarding world in general. iRocker fam, we're extremely excited about this new Ultra Collection. Whether you're a beginner or an expert pro, staying close to home or traveling afar, we know that one of these four models is gonna fit perfect for your riding style. And remember, if you're new, Take it easy, start on your knees, get used to the board, get used to the water, and take it slow. It's just important to get out there and have fun.